Local animal activists say they are optimistic about the Kansas legislature passing a bill that would raise the animal abuse charge to a felony if someone leaves or dumps an animal without leaving provisions. KSN Zach Martin spoke to lawmakers and local animal rescuers. He joins us now with details on this story. Zach. Jeff, the bill is known by many as Bowie's Law due, it, due to it being created after a 2020 Wichita case where a dog was left in a kennel in a dumpster with no way to fend for itself. Christy Fisher with Wichita's Animal Action League has a framed photo of House Bill 2364's inspiration above her workspace. Fortunately, someone just happened to come across him. Otherwise, uh, due to his condition, which he was emaciated um, and the temperatures, he would have passed away and died that night. Last year, the bill was introduced. Now it has been recommended for approval by the House Judiciary Committee. Um, you know, we've been trying for two years now to get this passed through, and so we're super excited. And this has to get passed through through by the February 24th. Otherwise, we're going to have to start over the process again next year. It's going to be necessary that the speaker and the majority leader put this bill on the floor for a debate and a vote this week. The ranking Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, State Representative John Carmichael, says he's encouraged that this bill will be passed. The hope is that uh, Dan Hawkins, the majority leader from Wichita, will also look favorably upon this bill and hopefully put it on the calendar for a debate Wednesday morning. That's what I hope will happen. With the bill's fate in the balance over the coming days, many are as hopeful as they've been that something will be done. It's exciting. It's like it's hopeful for all of the animals. I think this is at least a first step. Mm -hmm. If we can get that pushed, then maybe we can start doing more specific things with the laws. If this bill misses the deadline, Representative Carmichael says it could still be blessed by the Speaker of the House, which effectively keeps it alive even if it hasn't been voted on by Thursday. Here for you, Zach Martin, KSN News 3.